First off, your stuff. You know what, if we're taking that approach, you might want to be armed at this intervention. Mm. Why, why would I need to be armed? Well, Frank's usually carrying like a little gun around with him and he doesn't really hesitate to use it. Yeah, and you know what? Have the gun out and ready to rock. Yeah, this guide will give you all the information you need to be a Chad in the stash. This will be a rough order of operations as far as unlocking and leveling up your stash management. Okay, first thing to do, you're going to want to acquire a Lucky Scav junk box for 1.1 mil. You can do this by playing a few raids or scaving, maybe in combination with selling some of the starter equipment, but secure one of these containers as soon as possible. Once you do, or before you do get the container, you're going to want to prioritize those quest items over hideout items in the early game. A lot of the hideout stuff can be purchased, you can do that once you have flea and things really start to open up. But think about those cigarettes, the gas sands, flash drives, etc. You can also start on saving maybe some meds and food items for the level 2 storage container barters. More on this in a bit. Technically, it is good to have two scab boxes as you will need one for your hideout down the road, but one is fine for now. Stack backpacks, but maybe not as many as you think you may need, Russian doll style. Tack rigs like the LBCR, MPPV, and the Zuck, which the Zuck in particular is quite common, are great ways to store ammo, keys, and mags early on, but try to organize them. Although it's easier than ever to pull these items instead of rummaging for it in the stash, it's just the same thing to do, keep your stash anxiety down to a minimum. I'd also recommend selling most all your items to the traders and not really hoarding waiting for the flea unless you know you'll be there soon. And if you have trouble parting with your guns like myself, there are some essential tips to maximize your space. Make sure they are folded. I know it's obvious, but I just did it. I forgot. If you can, this is easier said than done, but try sticking only a few calibers so you can focus on getting nice with those. It'll also reduce the amount of mags and ammos you need to hold, thus freeing up space. You'll start by putting all your attachments you want to keep directly on the weapons. Just modify it how you want before you get into raid. Same idea applies with like keeping foregrips and things in your stash. Just throw all your accessories on there. This only takes up about one or two squares for these foregrips and the same technique can be applied in raid if you really want to min-max your loot. Extra deluxe space saving technique is if you need to, and I have in the past, is removing the mag and the grip of the gun as this will half the size of the gun in the grid. I mean, it makes a big difference. It literally cuts it in half, and I suppose you could store twice as many guns this way. Certain guns you can't, but most you can. Final note on the gun topic, sell those extra mags unless they're high capacity, or it can't be easily obtained. I've done it myself, and hoarding mags that can be purchased is just pointless. Keep running your scav if money's an issue. Speaking of running scavs, I often keep the wallets and ginkgo keyrings to use for money storage and bringing keys into raid early on. You implemented these initial stash hacks, life is good and you progressed enough to unlock the flea market. Great, this opens up a lot more options. If you're flush with ruble, you're an absolute giga super scav, you may purchase containers straight off the flea, but for most of us we're trying to get the best value and in that case it goes kind of as followed. Starting off with mechanic level 1 which has a barter for the ammo case. It allows you to barter 2 thermite and 2 eagle powder. You must have completed gunsmith 5 but I'm telling you this is one of the best containers out there. It's a 2x2 and gives you a ton of spaces to store your ammo so strongly recommend getting this one as soon as you can. Therapist level 2 unlocks when you hit level 13. So actually before the flea market you can obtain the med case and the docs case. Never been able to do it myself but before flea you could potentially get all those required items for the barter but regardless you can get those containers pretty quickly. Jaeger level 2 unlocks at level 15 PMC and allows you to barter for the Hadalnik thermal bag. All these items will be going for a decent bit of rub on the flea. But just run interchange streets or even ground zero a little bit and it'll be fairly easy beyond the trader barters you're going to need to obtain the lavatory level two you can craft mag boxes and grenade case this way you can also just keep crafting cases as you're going with your used gas tanks you can sell those containers on the market or keep them for yourself oh and keep as much fuel as possible in the generator for obvious reasons it clears up space gets them out of your junk other cases to mention, the items case, which is available from Therapist Level 3. Pacific case can hold anything, so it's pretty great, but it's also pretty expensive. I know it goes for a lot of euros. There's some other barters, including dog tags. Pistol case for pistol runners, very affordable. Can also put mags into it, I believe. Dog tags case is nice to have and can be purchased decently early. Docs case, which I personally prefer over the sick, but I get one of these basically every time I find a bronze lion for the barter. I just suck it up and purchase the other items off the flea at that time. I like to have about four or five of these for the maps I run most. I should also state that several of these cases can be acquired through completing tasks, so it's up to you, but it takes me a while to get to those, so I play it safe and put my sanity first. 
Thick items and thick weapons cases, though I do wait until I receive them through a quest reward. This is endgame stuff, so it's not as necessary to cover. This includes the injector case, which I recommend everybody does pick up along the way, get used to using one of these. Some of the final notes for stash management, easing your mind, is really gonna be, you know, intervening with whatever you got going on. I stop auto sorting pretty early on and keep this top of my stash clear. So when I get out of raid, I can just offload with control and all offload everything, sort it out, put mags away, put ammo away, so on, throw stuff in the junk box. Mags can also be grabbed from any in your stash if you can't seem to find a certain one by using the modding screen kind of assembling it ammo is easily accessed by the pack and pull so just packing a mag pulling it out if you want to keep extra in your safety container i find this to be the easiest technique i just pack it up pull it out pack it up pull it out and now it doesn't repack the same ammo necessarily unless it's just the last bit i'm not sure how long it's been out but you can sell directly out of the scab junk box so you can open it even from the trader or i think you've been able to do it maybe from the fleet but you can open it and then sell directly out of there even check if it's all similar items that you're selling they're all the same items you can check and it'll actually find them all no matter if they're in order or not and finally use a sorting table it can move things around very easily again when i was organizing you just control and alt clicking it makes that workflow operation a lot smoother all questions suggestions are gladly welcome in the comments below and thank you guys for watching please like and subscribe the support keeps me focused and growing as we're trying to build something together happy reading peace